As climbers start to get within striking distance of the summit, they enter an area known as the death zone on the grand summit of Mount Everest, the highest point on earth. There exists a frozen realm filled with captivating stories of triumph, tragedy, and mystery. But beyond the well-documented tales of bravery and conquest lie hidden stories that reveal unsettling truths about the mountains forbidding nature. What secrets lie beneath the icy surface of Everest, and how do these lesser-known stories illuminate the dangerous and mysterious side of this formidable peak? Embark on a journey with us as we uncover the top terrifying discoveries hidden in the shadows of Mount Everest's breathtaking beauty. Green Boots, Mount Everest, with its towering summit, holds the distinction of being not just the highest peak globally but also the most dangerous, concealing a haunting history of over 200 climbers meeting their demise on its unforgiving slopes. These unfortunate souls now lay in a perpetual icy slumber, their stories eternally made their way into the mountain's top landscape. Some of these fallen adventurers remain shrouded in non-recognition, their fates hidden from prying eyes, while others lie exposed and real proof to the danger of attempting the climb. Among the most renowned figures frozen in time is Seeing Palger, known as Green Boots, due to the distinct color of his footwear. His tragic demise transpired during a storm in 1996, and ever since, his lifeless form has become a fixture near the summit, veiled by the relentless snow or exposed to the harsh elements and the gaze of ascending climbers. For those brave enough to pursue the daunting climb, encountering Palger's remains becomes an inevitable part of the journey. Climbers must navigate the obstacle, stepping over the silent guardian on their quest for triumph or deciding to turn back from their ambitious dream. Although seasoned mountaineers often perceive such occurrences as tragic yet unavoidable consequences of their chosen pursuit, for the uninitiated, the notion of persisting in plain view for nearly two decades can be truly bewildering. Contemplating the cost of scaling Mount Everest, pondering whether the pursuit of such a big goal is truly worth the sacrifice of one's life, evokes a sense of examination. The place of human mortality against the grandeur of the mountain prompts us to question the wisdom of such endeavors. As we reflect on these harrowing tales, one cannot help but wonder, does the beauty of conquering Everest justify the ultimate price paid by those who dared to dream? The abandoned, a sense of decades as one embarks on the top of Everest. The towering mountain reveals haunting echoes of the endeavors of bygone eras. The forsaken echoes of decades past adorn the slopes, bearing witness to the undying pursuit of the summit. These silent remnants scattered along the trail narrate tales of both fervent ambition and solemn abandonment. The early campsites, like scenes frozen in time, unfold a tableau of discarded equipment, tattered tent fragments, and occasionally personal belongings left behind. Each artifact carries within it a narrative, a climber's decisive retreat, or a valiant push forward that ended in silence. Many of these relics dated back to the rudimentary days of Everest exploration, a stark contrast to the advanced mountaineering gear of today. Yet amid the inspiring landscape, grim reminders emerge, frayed and frost-covered old fixed ropes linger, guiding climbers through perilous sections. These ropes, left behind by earlier expeditions bear witness to the challenges faced by pioneering climbers on treacherous stretches. Layers of tangled ropes tell different stories of ambition, each representing a distinct expedition and the struggles encountered. More tragic still are the pages torn from diaries or old photographs occasionally discovered fluttering in the wind or buried beneath a thin blanket of snow. These personal remnants force one to confront the harsh reality. For every jubilant success story Everest celebrates, there exist tales of dreams unfulfilled and lives tragically cut short. Contemplations arise on whether these artifacts should be cleansed to restore Everest's pristine beauty or preserved as historical markers, allowing future climbers to pay homage to those who walked the path before them. In the vast and overwhelming landscape of Everest, these traces of abandoned endeavor serve a dual purpose. They stand as cautionary tales, underscoring the gravity of the undertaking while also connecting climbers to a rich legacy of mountaineering history binding them in a timeless narrative of human determination, resilience, and vulnerability. The Mystery of Mallory and Irvine, Sir Edmund Hillary's triumphant ascent of Mount Everest in 1953, might not have been the first. Instead, the honor belonged to two daring Englishmen, George Mallory and Sandy Irvine, who attempted the climb back in 1924. 
Through a powerful telescope, observers caught glimpses of Mallory and Irvine as minuscule black specks a mere 100 feet from Everest's majestic summit. Yet, despite this tantalizing proximity, they never returned, leaving the world in suspense about whether they achieved the impossible feat or succumbed to the unforgiving mountain. Mallory, an experienced climber, had already ventured to Everest twice before. In 1921, he played a pivotal role in the British expedition, mapping the terrain surrounding the towering peak. During this expedition, Mallory became the first European to lay eyes on the western slope, realizing the critical need for oxygen cylinders at such extreme altitudes. In his quest, he selected Irvine as his partner, recognizing Irvine's proficiency in managing oxygen equipment. Embarking on their journey with five porters and a guide, Mallory and Irvine forged ahead, leaving the guide behind to survey the mountain while they pressed on. Amidst the perilous climb, a sudden snowstorm struck, prompting the guide's desperate shouts for their return. Tragically, Mallory and Irvine vanished, without a trace, leaving behind an empty camp and a mystery that would endure for decades. It wasn't until 1999 that Mallory's body was discovered. Yet, the mystery persisted. The crucial camera, capable of proving their summit conquest, remained missing. However, an intriguing clue emerged. Before the ascent, Mallory had promised his wife Ruth to leave her photograph atop the summit. Strangely, the photo kept in his inner pocket was absent when Mallory's body was found. Contemplating this enigma, one can't help but wonder, did Mallory and Irvine, against all odds, become the true pioneers to conquer the formidable Everest summit? Supernatural Encounters, Mount Everest, with its towering presence, conceals a realm of various mysteries and unexplained occurrences within its majestic peak. Tales abound of supernatural phenomena, where ethereal entities and ghostly apparitions play a haunting role in the mountain's narrative. One distinguished figure in this enigmatic saga is the celebrated mountaineer Pomad Doi, who exploits his name in the annals of Everest lore. Doi's renown extends beyond the realms of ordinary achievement as he secured global acclaim for two distinct feats. On the remarkable date of May 21, 2004, he not only defied conventional limits, but ascended Everest with unprecedented speed, conquering the summit in a mere eight hours and ten minutes. This extraordinary accomplishment marked a pivotal moment in mountaineering history. However, the beauty surrounding his Everest journey deepened three days later on May 24. While descending the southern slope, he stumbled upon a macabre tableau that defied explanation. There, amidst the unforgiving ice and snow, lay a group of deceased climbers, their bodies suspended in a frozen embrace with the mountain. What followed was an encounter with the supernatural. As he recounted, he witnessed shadowy figures resembling spirits. These ethereal entities with outstretched hands seemed to implore him for sustenance. In the harsh reality of Everest, many souls of deceased climbers linger, trapped in a frozen limbo, their earthly journey abruptly halted in their pursuit of conquering the formidable peak. The remnants of a mountaineer suspended from a rope after a fatal accident serve as a chilling testament to the perils faced by those who dare to challenge Everest's unforgiving nature. His claim of encountering supernatural forces sparks contemplation on whether oxygen deprivation and abnormal pressure might induce hallucinations. Yet, as one delves into the statistics, a haunting reality emerges, numerous lifeless forms forsaken above the ominous altitude of 19,685 feet endure the harsh elements, with new additions each passing year. The challenges involved in retrieving these souls from their icy prison render it a near-impossible task. Sherpa attack, on their ascent of Mount Everest, numerous individuals aspire to encounter a great moment, perhaps even envisioning glimpses of heaven from its summit. However, for John Griffiths, a British mountaineer, and his companions, the expedition transformed into a harrowing ordeal when they encountered a group of Sherpas who obstructed their path and posed a genuine threat to their lives. The Sherpas, indigenous people of Nepal dwelling in Everest's shadow, are renowned for their exceptional skills and resilience at high altitudes. Simultaneously, they fiercely guard their land and cultural heritage. Griffiths and his friends found themselves embroiled in a dispute with certain Sherpas who accused them of disregarding local norms and traditions. Initially dismissing it as a minor misunderstanding, 
Griffiths soon discovered the severity of the situation when the Sherpas, numbering around 100, resorted to aggressive retaliation. Cloaking their identities with scarves, armed with stones and sticks, the Sherpas mercilessly attacked the climbers, leaving Griffiths and his friends in a perilous predicament. Despite their attempts to negotiate and reason with their assailants, the climbers found themselves overpowered and outmatched. The situation would likely have turned fatal if not for the timely intervention of courageous climbers from Camp 2, led by Melissa Arnott, an accomplished American mountaineer who had scaled Everest four times. Arnott, familiar with the Sherpas and astutely perceiving the imminent danger, urgently advised Griffiths and his friends to abandon their ascent and descent from the mountain post-haste. Following her counsel proved to be their salvation, allowing them to escape with their lives intact. However, the price of this escape was the forfeiture of their cherished dream to conquer Everest's summit. This spine-chilling encounter etched a profound and unforgettable memory in their minds, forever altering their perspective on the formidable challenges that could arise amidst the inspiring heights of the world's tallest peak. Icefall Doctors, in the heart of the mighty Himalayas lies a faithless expanse known as the Kumbu Icefall, a gateway to the realm of danger on the southern route of Everest. This formidable ice-complicated passage, constantly in motion with its ever-shifting ice, has earned the name the Gateway to the Death Zone. In the face of its inspiring yet deadly nature, a group of unsung heroes, the Icefall Doctors, navigate this frozen deadly passage to pave the way for those daring to conquer the world's highest peak. The Icefall Doctors, primarily Sherpas, undertake the responsibility of setting up ropes and ladders across the precarious icefall each climbing season. Their meticulous work is the position that enables climbers to traverse this hazardous terrain with decreased risk. However, their heroic endeavors are often on the brink of disaster as they find themselves dancing with death in this frozen realm. One harrowing account emanates from the experiences of an icefall doctor named Nima. Anchoring a ladder amidst the icefall, he was abruptly confronted by a cascading tower of ice, narrowly avoiding being buried alive. The ominous sounds of shifting ice served as a chilling prelude to the impending danger, prompting Nima to hurl himself off the path just in the nick of time. The thunderous roar of the massive ice block crashing down moments after his escape served as a haunting reminder of the capricious nature of the icefall. Another tale unfolds in the life of Pemba, a seasoned icefall doctor. While assessing a section for safety, he found himself dangling over the rift when a hidden hole, masked by a deceptive snow bridge, gave way beneath him. Hanging solely by his safety line, Pemba's comrades rushed to his aid, their combined efforts saving him from what seemed like an inevitable fate. Shaken but resilient, Pemba returned to the icefall the very next day, driven by an unwavering commitment to his duty. British Explorer, in 1933, the British explorer Frank Smith found himself on the verge of achieving an extraordinary feat, being the first person to conquer the summit of Everest. However, the relentless forces of nature, including fierce winds, snow, ice, and perilously low oxygen levels, thwarted his trekking group's progress. Despite the adversity, Smith pressed on with his ascent, only to fall short by approximately 1,000 feet in his detailed diary entries. Smith recounted a peculiar occurrence known to scientists as the third presence during his climb. In a moment frozen in time, Smith reached into his backpack for a simple pleasure, a mint chocolate bar. To his amazement, the bar inexplicably snapped in half, as if destined to be shared with an unseen companion. As he continued his ascent, the overwhelming sensation of companionship enveloped him, dispelling the loneliness that often accompanies such solitary endeavors. This mystical phenomenon was not confined to Smith alone. Two other intrepid Englishmen, Glee Haston and Doug Scott, faced a harrowing night in the proximity of deceased climbers' bodies, uncertain if they would survive until dawn. In their struggle for survival within a precarious snow cave devoid of sufficient air, hunger gnawing at them and warmth slipping away, an inexplicable occurrence transpired. Both climbers testified to feeling the presence of a third entity in the snow. A being that not only provided the crucial warmth needed for survival, but also offered guidance on navigating at night. This encounter was not an isolated incident. Other mountaineers, including those in the historic 1952 expedition before the famous ascent, have described similar inexplicable presences on their journeys. 
strange sounds nestled amidst the towering peaks of Mount Everest lies a chilling narrative, and perhaps one of the most spine-tingling tales is that of the enigmatic sounds that torment mountaineers. Remnants of failed military expeditions Throughout the years, numerous military expeditions have ventured to this giant mountain, propelled by motives surpassing the mere conquest of its summit. The remnants of these endeavors are across Everest slopes, providing glimpses into missions and strategic undertakings that have faded into the air. One particularly tantalizing narrative revolves around a purported British military expedition from the early 20th century. In the midst of geopolitical tensions, a team was allegedly dispatched with the mission to install a wireless radio at the summit, aiming to intercept enemy communications. The fate of this covert expedition remains shrouded in mystery, yet climbers have reported stumbling upon archaic radio equipment and military bodies buried in the snow at dizzying altitudes, fueling speculation about the secretive mission. During World War II, the Japanese Imperial Army also set its SES on Everest, not for summiting, but for gathering meteorological data and potentially establishing a high-altitude training ground. Some intrepid trekkers have encountered remnants of Japanese military gear, including weather instruments and distinctive World War II-era helmets, preserved by the harsh conditions. However, the most haunting traces are those left behind by lesser-known expeditions believed to be missions by various nations seeking to map the region or establish surveillance outposts. Abandoned camps with military-grade tents, scattered documents in languages ranging from Russian to Hindi, and occasional unidentifiable badges or signs stand as stark reminders of Everest's relentless nature. The mountain makes no distinction between adventurer and soldier, scientist or spy, thwarting ambitions, whether personal glory or strategic advantage. Frozen Time Watchers, one particularly haunting discovery unfolded during the exploration of a climber's remains from a 1970s expedition. A wristwatch encased in ice, yet remarkably preserved, bore witness to a storm that had engulfed the mountain at precisely 2.16 p.m. The frozen hands of the timepiece served as a reminder of nature's sudden and unforgiving fury, encapsulating the climactic turmoil that unfolded at that very hour. In another compelling find, a vintage timepiece dating back to the early attempts on the summit revealed its hands frozen at 5.43 a.m., a possible indication of a pre-dawn ascent, a strategic way to capitalize on the slightly warmer and calmer morning hours. The climber's fate remains unknown, but the watch stands as proof of the hopeful beginnings of a day that may have taken a tragic turn. Another narrative unfolded near the south summit where a second-hand watch was discovered stuck in mid-tick. The climber had seemed to have been meticulously documenting his journey with notes expressing concerns about decreasing oxygen levels. The stopped watch, accompanied by these heartfelt notes, painted a heartbreaking picture of a climber racing against time grappling with the diminishing element crucial to sustaining life. These frozen moments captured by lifeless wristwatchers offer a unique perspective into the extraordinary challenges faced by those daring to conquer Everest. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager while you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.